Hey guys, Vinyl Vixen here, checking in at Rap Sesh. Uh, this week we are going to show you guys how to do a bumper, which you've been asking us for ages. We're going to show you guys how we wrap a bumper, the whole process, prep, install, finish. remember last week we kind of uh, featured this car right here a Volkswagen Golf R <laughs> uh, we're doing a full exterior color change kind of a unique two-tone I didn't show you guys this last week but this is the design little collab wrap with Glarb so we're doing a two-tone the original paint was black right here uh, we're using 3m satin frozen vanilla and then this 3m satin perfect blue and we did a bunch of um, just custom cut kind of stuff to go over the top of it. So you're gonna see us do some of the overlays and everything on that. And uh, let's go take a peek at the bumper with Slim Shetty. Uh, we have it propped up here on the table on a bucket. If you're an installer, you know how to make it work. So uh, yeah, if you guys have bumper stands, you could do it that way. Also, sometimes we actually pull it on the car just to get it pulled and then we take it off the car and wrap around the edges. So what we're gonna do is me and Michael will hold the edges. Uh, we're gonna heat it and stretch wide this way and that's gonna make the material kind of hug um, the bumper. Uh, we're gonna do this bottom part in one piece first. Um, seam it right here on this really hard line. This is a hard angle. It's just not gonna hold in there very well. So we're gonna do a seam there and then we're gonna lay the whole top piece in one piece and seam it right there. And we'll do these pieces separately inside. Right, and then these plastics are gonna be separate. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, there's multiple ways to do it. It depends on the equipment you have, the amount of hands you have. I highly recommend if you have the people to do it with at least two people. It's nice to have someone in the middle kind of helping you pull it all. Um, if you're alone, you can use a, a wrap pole. Those are really great from Auto Skins. But uh, yeah, multiple ways to do it as long as you get the best finished product. So finish project? Finish fish it What was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see, I mean, this is what rock chips look like with a wrap. So, I mean, we get a lot of questions on surface prep and everything. Like I said, this customer in particular did not want to do any surface prep. But if we were going to fix this bumper, what we would do is uh, basic wet sand and all that's going to do is knock the edge of the rock chips off um, and make it smooth enough to wrap. So you're not going to see all this that looks like dirt and crap in it. Um, but we would do like a thousand to two thousand grit wet sand on it And then we would do a clay bar treatment just to get all the contaminants and everything off of there And then we would wrap it and it would look a lot better than this But like I said, this is with this customer. So keep that in mind. Don't hassle me in the comments because there's rock chips Okay, it's not gonna be wrapped forever. He said so he doesn't want to he doesn't want to mess with the paint up with paint which uh, wet sand can be fixed with a nice buff and polish. Right, the wet sand's not going all the way through your paint. You're really just messing with the surface. So if you do do a wet sand and then rip your wrap off later, all you normally need to do is like a buff and polish and it'll take care of it. So. Don't mess up. Don't look at me. Don't mess it up. I will elbow oh you God, right in the so face. Crooked. Get out of it's here. It's so crooked. Get out. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. No, you're not. You're trying to sabotage me. No, look, I'm helping. No. I actually went really well. <laughs> See, I helped. <laughs> so, step two. Same process, bigger piece. 
Uh, we're going to full pull it. We're going to give it a little bit of heat. We're going to pre-stretch it so it hugs these areas right here, sucks up around the bumper. If you're going to do the start with no heat and then heat both sides, you want to make sure your material is not going to fade differently. Some materials, yeah. metallics and stuff like that, if you start in the middle and you, and you have it tacked, and then you want to start heating and start from here, you're going to have a line from here and it's going to make a fade mark. Right, yeah, with like matte metallics, when you stretch them really far, they discolor easily. Reds, yellows, um, sometimes even blues, things blues, like that. You got to keep that in mind. If you're tacking it and pulling it like on your own or something, you got to make sure you're not going to make any you're adhesive lines, lines or stretch lines or discoloring where you stretched it really hard. So you want to do a really even stretch, which is why we heat the whole entire panel and pull it, and pull it try, like, try to go all at one go so you don't get any marks. That's the best way to go about it. It now, is a time sensitive material. Yeah. So you've got to be able to work quickly and get it down. And if you get the whole thing blanketed, it's practically laid. So that's the end goal. Now, with this white metallic, it's not really going to, it doesn't really show the effect of a stretch that much. So we don't really but need to worry about if, it that much. If you overstretch this color though, the metallic kind of turns matte it actually. actually. Turns, well, so it, it's a satin, but it, it is turns satin. More matte. But if you overstretch this material, it'll turn matte. So it's something you keep in mind, as well as if you overheat it with a flame or something, it will turn gloss. But that's so, why. You gotta keep that when we, keep that in when mind. When we do pull this, we're not going to actually tack it in the middle. You actually, what you're, what we're gonna do is lay this, and then just let one side kind of be tacked. It's it's not gonna be really tacked in one general area, but that's gonna allow us to grab this side, and there's not gonna be a definite line where we're gonna pull from. So it's just gonna stretch this right. entire thing. So you you want to just lay it as smoothly as possible because every time you got to yank that vinyl up or pull on it or pick it up or fix a wrinkle, you're making lines marks. and marks and defects in the material. So you want to try to lay it as smoothly as possible. So let's go be smooth. Oh yeah. Smooth sailing. Smooth. You don't want to leave any wrinkles sitting anywhere if you're going to, you know, take time to get to them because if you leave them, it will make marks, especially with 3M material. Yeah, 3M, I feel like is leaves a lot of adhesive lines. So the goal with the panels when we pull 3M is to get the majority of it blanketed where it, you're, you know, you don't even really have to wrap it. Now I just have to kind of lay it down. I'm not fussing with the material. I'm not trying to work it somewhere, I'm not trying to stretch small pieces. I got the whole thing stretched and pre-stretched and I'm gonna lay down all the hard areas and then you're not gonna get any of the lines. So you don't want any adhesive lines, they suck. They look bad. So like stuff like right here, you gotta work this area quick because if I leave that bridged up, it's gonna leave an adhesive line. I always try to hit the biggest recess areas first as well. Uh, so any areas that you have to actually stretch, like right here or something, I'm gonna hit that and try to just go in one go because this material is very time sensitive. So you wanna hit all the hard areas first, stretch those first, and then work out. You got a wrap glove on, you can usually hit everything pretty easily. Just. And this is also something you wanna to try to avoid that I missed, is pulling stuff up. When you pull up like this, you can create adhesive lines, so be really careful with that too. that I'm to the edge and I'm heating it, it's actually gonna relieve the material. So now this isn't stretched anymore and I'm just gonna work it around the edge like quarter to a half inch and then it's never gonna fail. You're never gonna see it peeling up or anything.
Every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars for watching our tutorial today on bumpers. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you can catch the full reveal of the vehicle on our social media sites. Uh, Instagram mostly, we do Vinyl Vixen and Wraps and Wraps Sesh AZ. Um, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you dig the Wraps Sesh vibe. And stay tuned for more. We'll be re releasing next week.